After a 20-year journey, University of Kentucky researchers are able to read the unreadable of the Herculaneum Scrolls using AI. Professor of Computer Science at UK, Brent Seals, started the Vesuvius Challenge and the attempt to solve the Herculaneum Scrolls in 2002. These scrolls are iconic. They come from the only extant library from the classical period that has ever been discovered. So we know that there were many libraries in the classical period that hold many, held many, many works from uh, the ancients, Greeks, Romans, others. But those libraries are all gone, all of them except this one library. And it contained a set of almost 2,000 different books in the form of these scrolls. So it's an iconic discovery because it's the only one. This most recent breakthrough with the Herculaneum material is, is really our most, most virtuosic sort of result because it, it overcomes every one of the various kinds of damages um, all, in, all in one thing. It's sort of like the hardest example you can imagine. The, the ink is not metal, so we have to have some way to make it be more visible. We use AI. The papyrus is badly damaged. In fact, it's carbonized, so we have to overcome the burning. And they're actually not that easy to get access to. So we have to overcome the politics, right, of just being able to make the collaboration possible to be able to collect the data. What virtual unwrapping is, is to find where the pages are, model them, and then pull them out so they're flat. With a book, that's easy because all the pages are already flat in that volume. But with a scroll, it's harder because the, the surface that the writing is on is actually all wrapped up. So the unwrapping part is kind of like a simulation that you would see in a video game where cloth or a flag is kind of waving in the wind. We do that in reverse. We find where that is in the volume, and then we flatten it out as if it were a piece of fabric or a, or a flag waving in the wind. And the AI is the thing that stands in that gap between what's there and what we can see. So we can turn the knobs on that AI and we can make certain things pop out that aren't obvious. And one of the things we really want to see is the ink. Stephen Parsons is a research advisor for the Vesuvius Challenge. Parsons shares the Digital Restoration Initiative being a research lab at Kentucky that focuses on damaged manuscripts and scrolls that need science behind them. The Herculaneum scrolls are extra challenging and they've resisted uh, being read in this way for so long because as objects they make things difficult in almost every way possible. So one of those ways is the ink doesn't show up very clearly in x-ray images in some cases is literally called iron gall ink because there's iron in the ink. So when you put that in an x-ray or a CT scanner, you can see the iron much more clearly. It's like bright spots. So the text just sort of appears in place. And then the job is to trace the pages and flatten them out. And then you'll see the text show up. With the Herculaneum scrolls, the ink is made out of soot, which is pure carbon. And the scrolls are made out of papyrus, which is a plant, which is almost pure carbon. So in an x-ray image, they look the same, it's like the same shade of gray. So even if you do all the work to trace the page and virtually flatten it, it looks like a blank sheet. And what we've developed over the years is machine learning tools that show that we actually can recover the ink from those scans. It's just a really, really subtle pattern that doesn't appear to our naked eye. So we have to train a model to do it for us. Sydney Chapman, a senior at UK majoring in computer science, helped create the team's quick segment tool to use on the scrolls. This is something that we've developed to help with the segmentation process of the scroll, which is how we basically isolate a single wrap within the scroll and then take it out to read it using machine learning or if it was an originally iron ink that is then able to easily be differentiated by the scanner, so iron would be denser than the papyrus and you wouldn't have to use machine learning to tell the difference between that and the paper. Since Herculaneum was carbonized, both the ink and the paper were turned to carbon and that's not differentiable by that normal method. Um, that's where the machine learning comes in. But quick segment we use to be able to read these scrolls that are very tightly wrapped and packed together where our original tool volume cartographer struggled with differentiate these layers um, within the wraps. So we made this to help that process along and with it we were able to create the first largest segment ever to be removed from the inside of a closed Herculaneum scroll. 
uh, I think that's the first principle is that we have to understand the past in order un to understand the present and the future. I think there's another important principle at play too and that is it sometimes it's hard to have conversations about things that are that are difficult. And the past can lead us to those conversations. If we go back far enough, all of the politics, all of the dissension, all of the things that divide us sort of drop away and they melt away into the, the mist of history. And then we find something like a scroll where we have common ground and we can talk about things. And I think these things are valuable for that too. To learn more about the Vesuvius Challenge and the Herculaneum Scrolls, go to kykernel.com.